In recent years, there's been a small emergence of mini or small vehicles in the country. And honestly, what's not to like? This specific vehicle right here claims to actually have 26 kilometers per liter. That's wild. Now, other than that, of course, they're affordable, easy to drive, and of course, powerful enough to bring you, of course, to the mall kung gusto nyo, o kaya up the mountains of Baguio. And yes, yes, guys, I know, I know, marami na tatanong kung kaya ba nitong umakit sa Baguio ng puno yung pasahero. And guys, ano ba kayo? Kaya kaya na niyan. But one thing these cars always lacked was, of course, three things, no? Number one, they were too simple. Kumbaga, hindi sila ganun kateki. Number two, they were not that entertaining. And of course, number three, wala silang masyadong high-end features. Well, this right here is the all-new 2022 Suzuki Celerio, a mini hatchback dedicated to bringing you more bigger and more stylish moments. My name is Ref Mosil for Ref Motors. Once again, this is the 2022 Suzuki Celerio. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Na miss ko kayo. We're back. Now before we start, the Suzuki Celerio actually runs on a new platform that Suzuki calls the HeartTech platform. Now what this does is it actually improves vehicle performance, enhanced fuel economy, of course noise reduction, and less vibration. All of these features wala to nung dating Celerio, so this is just new with the newest model. Now as for colors, it comes in fiery red. This is of course the speedy blue metallic, arctic white, and metallic gray. Starting with the front, Suzuki takes pride in this new lively front fascia that they have. We also have here a grill that has chrome accents, very aggressive looking as well. Medyo honeycomb yung dating niya. Of course, we have our headlamps that extend over to the fenders. And what I like about this also is that it actually included fog lamps in this Celerio. And one thing to note also is here, medyo extended yung bumper niya. They actually added a different section here that kind of reminds you of a lip, of a bumper lip. Kaya may pagka-sport yung dating niya. I actually like how that looks because it kind of modernizes the look of this Celerio and I really appreciate that. You have no parking sensors in the front but I think that can be added aftermarket. Now one thing to also note in the Celerio is that hindi siya mukhang pisat. The design of the hood here is so overextended and so protruded na hindi siya mukhang pisat na kotse, hindi siya mukhang pisat na mini vehicle. Yes, it is a small car, but when you look at it from the front and when you look at it from the side, it looks as if mahaba siya. It actually creates that illusion and you'll see it more on the side. Now for the wheel and tire setup, it actually comes with 17560R15s, 15 sized alloy rims. You don't usually see that in this class. I think this is Suzuki's way of making it more high-end and kind of sporty looking. As for suspension, you get McPherson struts in the front. Now, of course, it comes with disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back. One thing to note is that the Celerio actually comes with a bigger brake booster at 9 inches as compared to yung Lumang Celerio na 8 inches lang. Now, for the engine, it actually comes with a K10C 1.0 dual jet engine that makes 67 horsepower and 93 newton meters of torque. It of course comes with a three-cylinder that produces better compression and a dual injection system as compared to the old K10B. Now it is mated to an auto gear shift or AGS transmission, meaning an automated manual transmission. This has an intelligent shift control that operates the shift and the clutch but we'll expound more on this later. Of course, the other variant comes with a 5-speed manual transmission. However, the most interesting thing about the Suzuki Celerio is not the engine nor the transmission. It's the fact that Suzuki claims it can make up to 26 kilometers per liter in the highway and in the city. And with a small engine like this, in a small vehicle like this, I mean, that's just amazing. I actually can't comprehend na kaya niyang umabot ng ganun. But I was driving it kanina with a really heavy foot and I was reaching up to about 17 to 18 kilometers per liter. And that's with a really heavy foot. Ha? So it's just nice to see that cars like this are actually able to be as efficient 
as, as you would wish. Moving on to the side, Suzuki designed this to look bigger than it actually is. And they said that it's supposed to give off a very liquid and sleek expression. Now, starting here is a fender. Of course, we have our well, headlamps that overextend to the fenders. We have our cheek signal light. Of course, we have our side mirrors. They're not automated, but of course, they're pretty classic and easy to use. Medyo firm and sturdy naman siya. And moving on here, may kita niyo yung doors niya. Actually, medyo malaki for the size of the car. Ha? Tingnan mo, the size of the rear door is overextending to the to the to the rear of the car and malaki talaga siya. I'm not sure if you guys can see but it's really huge and anyone would actually fit here. So, sabi nga nila it's supposed to be bigger than it actually is. As for height, you can see here that I'm actually 5'10 and I'm still taller than the car pero medyo matangkad din siya. Now, one thing I also want to note here is the rear tail lamps because it actually overextends to the side of the Celerio as well. Now, there's also one thing that I want to actually specify and show you guys because I read in the manual nito, that the door is actually meant to open very easily and in three ways. So basically, when you open it, that's one, two, and three. Meaning that it can open the most that it could for you to enter in the easiest way possible. And this also applies to the very big rear door. That's one, two, and three and three now for size comparison i'm gonna sit down in the front passenger seat and this is basically how it looks so it's a small car yes but very comfortable and actually bigger than how it looks the rear comes with combination tail lamps a third brake light a rear windshield wiper of course we have our parking sensors on both sides and rear light deflectors meron din tayong oversized fenders dito sa side actually arched fenders siya and medyo napapa widen niya yung itsura nitong Celerio. But yeah, I think the design of the back is actually quite simple but very effective. Actually, down here, you have this extended skirt looking type of rear bumper that actually gives tribute to what's in front. So again, nabibigyan siya ng sporty look because of a simple detail like this. Now, one thing that the Celerio does not have is a rear view or reverse camera. And wala naman problema yun because you can always install that aftermarket. And I was actually tinkering around with the stereo in front, the Sony Bluetooth head unit. And meron siyang allocation for a reverse camera. So madali lang ilagay yun. Now one very surprising feature that people don't expect from the Celerio is the cabin space. Look at this. So the cabin of the Celerio actually comes with a storage of 295 liters which is 60 liters more than the previous model. And as you can see here, we have all of our equipment and talagang malalim pa siya. You can fit in maybe two maletas in here, some bags if you're bringing fruits with you, mga pagkain, pang, pang picnic or whatever that you might want. Guys, hindi naman kasha yung surfboard dito. But whatever it is that you will need, it will mostly fit. Meron din tayong split 60-40 seat, reverse seating capacity which means pwede mong ibaba yung rear seats para mas malaki yung storage area mo. And in doing that, baka pwede na nga yung surfboard. But yes, very impressive yung cabin o trunk space nitong Celerio. Again, 295 liters guys. That's a lot of stuff. So I'm here in the rear seat of the Suzuki Celerio. And as you guys can see, it actually does give us more room in the leg and more room up here sa taas. Why is that? Because like we said earlier, Suzuki made it a point to make this car bigger than it actually was. And they're really able to do that. I actually don't feel like I'm in a mini hatchback right now. I feel like I'm in a sedan. And I'm not even trying to sit straight. I'm not even trying to sit as if maliit yung inuupuan ko. I can actually sit here comfortably. And it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm very impressed with the, ca with, the, with the rear seats of the Celerio for the reasons that it does not give me the, the pisat vibe. Alam niyo yun? The pisat vibe wherein parang kailangan mo talaga maging ganun. This, this does not give us that type of feeling. Uh, although in the back, you don't really get much. But of course, you get your common cup holders. You have a total of about two, four six cup holders in the car so hindi kayo maubusan. and of course you have your compartment for all passengers that's in the front and in the back you don't get a center cup holder or kaya yung center uh, stand or kaya yung center arm support but that's okay you don't really need that one unique thing about this car is that the window controls the power window controls are actually not on the door guards themselves but they're actually here in the middle meaning pag bubuksan mo yung windows mo hindi ka dito pipindot Pipindot ka dito sa gitna. 
and that's how you can control the windows. In fact, pwede mo rin buksan yung window ng katabi mo if that's what you wish to do. So I think that's a very cool feature. Instead of putting a cup holder in the middle, nilagay nila yung tower windows. Uh, what else? Uh, I like the fact that it has speakers in the back. I think that's very unique. Uh, because you don't see that in a lot of cars. Even some sedans don't have that, and yet the Suzuki Celerio has that. In fact, I just want to say, one of the first things I noticed in this car was the sound system. The Suzuki Celerio has a very impressive sound system, and I'll expound more on that later. But yeah, you get everything that you need here, and I actually, uh, I actually put this backwards, Kanina, the way I would be you know, driving comfortably. I say I drive very far from the steering wheel and yet it was okay it actually was not awkward although i know that some of you guys have a family of five and meron talagang uupo sa gitna i understand that and one thing that i want to note is that unlike other sedans and even some suvs it's not hard to sit in the middle ibang suvs kasi meron silang malaking malaking parang boulder dito sa gitna that yung nakaupo sa gitna will be required to sit down like this this does not have that type of obstruction in the middle and comfortable siya even for the middle passenger. Although, of course, as I always say, I wouldn't suggest it for a full-grown adult. But kung kaya at kung kikilanganin, kaya kaya naman. In the front, we're greeted with an all-new, brand-new interior. And the first thing that you would notice, of course, is the three-dimensional speedometer. Uh, it's actually beautifully looking. And meron ding small digital area for the RPM. And dun din yung fuel mileage mo, yung actual, you know, yung fuel mo. There is also a clock there and of course indicating what gear you are in. One of the first things I noticed here too were the actual AC vents. I think they're they're really nice looking, very modern looking. Uh, they're a new design and I like how they're double du well, dual colored. Meron siyang silver lining that kind of reminds you of chrome as well as dito sa gitna ng dashboard. Although yes, again, it's a small car. I have to keep enumerating that, but it doesn't feel like such. I was driving this this morning and uh, the other days prior, and I was actually having a lot of fun. No una na nibago ko, syempre, but I was actually having a lot of fun. And there is a lot of things to actually point out here because of how unique they're placed. For example, yung lock mo sa mga pintuan is not located on the left, but it's located in the middle center console of the vehicle, meaning you can lock and unlock your car here. You can control your automated or automatic power windows from here as well, as well as sa passenger, dito rin siya makakontrol. Of course, you can also lock your window controls in the middle as well, and of course, your signal light natin, or your hazard button natin, nandiyan din sa gitna. Now, as for the AC controls, they are manual. Uh, some people actually find that to be a little bit of a concern, but ako, preferably, I actually like it this way. In this way, kasi mas nakakapa ako, kaya mas nagigage ko yung lamig na gusto ko from the car. And I just want to say, the air conditioning of this scenario is actually, actually, I'm not even going to say pede now, it's actually pretty amazing. On the way here, it was a very, very hot day, tapos naka one lang ako. Uh, that's really all that I needed. Now, of course, you get cup holders in the middle, like I mentioned earlier. Six cup holders in this old car. Meron ka din ng 12 volt o kaya cigarette lighter here, wherein you can plug your USB or anything that you might need. And of course, our transmission. Now, we'll expound more on this once we're driving later because this is a unique transmission. Of course, you have your classic handbrake lever here in the middle, which actually I like very much. And ang ganda rin na parang hindi masyadong obstructive yung space dito. There's enough space for you to, you know, put down your, your hand there and actually whip this back up. Now, in the steering wheel, you also have your volume buttons, you have your track skip buttons, and you have your mute button. Now, one thing to note in the interior of the Celerio is that it actually has an infotainment system with the newest Sony XAV1500. It's actually an anti-glare touchscreen. It has Weblink 2.0, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Meaning, kahit small car siya, it's actually it actually includes a high-tech sound or infotainment system the touchscreen actually and you can actually even put a reverse camera here which would show up in the actual head unit itself and i just want to say napakaganda talaga ng sound system ng newest celerio and on the left naman you have your parking controls and of course your side mirror controls as well very beautiful looking interior the seats are actually plush as well and very comfortable they're not leather but they'll actually do very well and of course, like I mentioned kanina, and new front speakers natin, which are actually pretty amazing. I think it's because of this Sony head unit here. It was one of the first things that I noticed in this car and actually very impressive siya. And one thing to note, of course, even if it is a small car, it does come with safety features. You have your standard airbag here and another standard airbag here on the right. 
You also have your lights here on the top where you can control uh, whatever that you might need at night kung medyo madilim. And of course, here to block out the sun, your visors to block out the sun, just in case medyo mainit sa araw. Of course, you have your classic rear view mirror right here where you can toggle just in case merong bright lights behind you. So we took the scenario off-roading today, but one of the main things that Suzuki actually wants to point out with this car is that it has a minimum turning radius of only 4.7 meters, and we want to put that to the test. Sa madaling salita, ito do yung mga isa sa mga pinakamadaling U-turn na kotse. So nandito tayo ngayon, and I'm bringing you guys with me to take on the challenge na U-turn natin yung scenario sa maliit na lugar na yan. And if we're able to do it, then it proves the theory that it does have one of the best U-turn mechanics and features of this car. So, subukan natin siya ngayon. And tara, let's go! So guys, medyo hindi ko na-realize yung hirap na... Actually, mahirap pala talaga to. But anyway, we're here to prove a point, which is why... We're gonna find ways to be able to do this. Hindi tayo sa suko, guys. Kaya natin to. Alright guys, mukhang onti na lang. May mga matatamaan lang tayo ng mga grass dito. But other than that, I think we're gonna be able to do it guys. Alright! <laughs> so, <laughs> now that we're able to do that, I guess we're able to prove na kaya talaga siya ni Suzuki Silerio. It also has this stop and start feature that saves gas whenever you are stopped, but keeping all of the accessories on like the aircon, radio, and everything else. And one of the first things I noticed was of course that it was small, very nimble, quick, and agile. But like you guys, alam ko ito rin yung unong mapapansin nyo. Napansin ko na yung gear shifter niya, wala siyang parking feature or parking, parang wala siyang parking feature in general. Basically kasi diba normally merong parking, reverse, neutral and drive ito guys it only comes with a reverse neutral drive and plus minus a tiptronic and I was searching around sabi ko in all the years I've been a car reviewer this is literally the only car I've driven na ganun siya so I searched around searched around and nakita ko sa brochure ni Suzuki that this is actually called their auto gear shift o kaya auto shift transmission and what it does is it actually is still a manual transmission in a sense but it actually automates and takes care of the clutch sinking and transmission sinking and all of those things. So sabi ko, okay, so if I consider it a manual transmission that's automated, okay, semi-automatic, then I guess that makes sense. So there is a little bit, maybe a half second delay from going to first gear to second gear, but it just mimics what a manual transmission would feel like without pressing on the clutch. So yun yung mga unong napansin ko, and after I was at peace with that, Okay na. Uh, kasi kala ko nung una, there was something wrong. But yun pala, it was completely normal. And that was fine. After, after that, I had a very good time with it. And I just really drove it to the best of my ability. Now, it also comes with a power steering. I'm not sure if it's hydraulic or, or electric. But either way, it's very, very soft. Ang dali niyang i-maneuver. And you can actually, kung ganun yung gusto mo, pwede kang sumingit-singit and it'll actually do the job. The power output it's giving is actually great as well. You know, you step on the pedal one time and mabilis yung hatak ng kotse. Of course, it's a little loud, but like I said earlier, maganding vibration and noise cancelling ng kotse na to. If you want, you can also stick and go with your full Tiptronic or manual type of transmission where you actually control the revs much easier and that, that'll work on its own. So to test the torque of the Celerio, we're here up in the mountains 
trying to see how it would do and honestly sa totoo lang kaya kaya niya I'm actually here in first gear right now playing between first and second gear and we're able to get up the way that we need to and hindi naman nahihirapan yung kotse my foot actually right now is not even fully depressed in the pedal siguro halfway siya and it's not having any trouble now I know magisa lang naman ako sa kotse ngayon but even if you were a party of four siguro press on the pedal a little more and you'll be able to get to where you need to be so <laughs> So as you guys can see, I was actually mashing on the pedal here and hindi ako nakaramdam ng hirap from the vehicle itself. And it's actually very nimble and very fun. If anything, parang ako nasa autocross eh. So yes, I don't believe na mahihirapan siya up in the mountains. And if mahirapan man siya, kakayanin pa rin niya either way. So don't be scared. Now as for the price of the all-new Celerio, we actually don't have word from Suzuki just yet. But based on the previous generation, it was about 550000 to about 630,000. And for that cost, what do you really get? Well, first of all, 26 kilometers per liter. Aside from that, a redesigned, reinforced vehicle that actually gives you great and utmost performance. Now, alam ko, alam ko, yung mga tanong nyo as usual is, yes, kung kaya bang mag-akit nito sa Tagaytay, sa Baguio, ng apat yung pasahero at puno ng gamit. Guys, I honestly believe na kayang-kaya niya. And maybe next time, we'll be able to try it out. But personally for me, I believe these cars should not be limited to the city because most people, they, also, they only want these cars to be used in the city streets. I believe it should be able to take you wherever you want it to, whether up in the mountains, far away in the lowlands of the beach, or wherever you might need it to be. And honestly, I believe that this can take you there. Now the question that remains is, does this have what it takes to be your next car? Well, honestly, there's no reason for it not to. My name is Ref Bangsil for Ref Motors. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you guys have any cars that you would want us reviewed, just let us know and we'll try our best to get to that and give it to you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.